Hey, everybody. We're live at the Pace Studio in New York right now with Theo Katzman. Theo, thanks for doing this, man. Thank you for having us. What's yeah. up, Paste? Totally, yes. Dude. We're very happy to have you in this room. Welcome back to some of you. Welcome. It was wonderful to meet you for the first time. Thank some you. Of you. And uh, it's a very familiar vibe about all you guys. It seem, even if I haven't met you before, you kind of seem, you know, same team. I don't know if it's the denim or the flannel or the denim and the flannel. Yeah, perhaps. But the, it the feels beard, familiar to me, buddies. too. We got Lee Pardini and Trevor Maneer you might have seen with Dawes. Yeah. We got Jordan Rose. Very much a household name in the music community here in New York. This is correct. And we got Mr. Joe Dart. You might know him from Wolfpack. So we have a bit of a familiar face band going on, which I am very grateful for. Thanks, guys. Well, we are very happy to have you here today. And congratulations to you because Modern Johnny Sings. This is a wonderful album name. Modern Johnny Sings, so much. colon, Songs in the Age of Vibe. We're about to hear three songs from it today. What's, yes. happening? What's happening first? Yeah, we're going to do one called You Could Be President. Um, it's a bit of a subversive, uh, I like sarcasm, I tend to gravitate towards that sometimes in my writing, and uh, this one is uh, it's sort of just about the message we're sending to children uh, in the modern era, not just in American politics, all over the world, we got some, uh, some uh, good rewards for bad behavior going on at the highest levels of, uh, of leadership, and I'm hoping we can change that. Uh, anyway, this song's kind of about that. That old lady called Liberty We 
Slipping into that New York beat Just down the street Well, if I could console it This is what I'd say Can we talk about that guitar? I think yeah, that's the totally. first guitar that's been FedEx to this studio. And well, this is a mule resonator, everybody. And uh, I love these guitars. They're made in Michigan. Um, and uh, I'm a longtime Michigan Michigan boy, as well as uh, Joe Dart over here. Whereabouts? Well, I, I uh, went to college in Ann Arbor, okay. so um, that's where I met Joe. I was there for seven years. Um, not in college. Okay, I was in four years of college. Okay, um, but I lived in Michigan for seven years, and uh, nothing wrong with seven year college. I'm just saying, I did mine in four. Okay, Dude, six, you know, plus six, for me. yeah, whatever. I wish it was twelve. You know, so much fun. But uh, anyway, uh, Joe grew up in Michigan. Yeah, I just have a Michigan connection. But these guys are, are worldwide, and uh, um, yeah, I just always wanted to have one of these, and was fortunate enough to be able to get one and. We talked. It was like maybe we could get it in time for the pace session because it's kind of like a broke down acoustic thing, and I, it was my first time playing it, so I don't know if I got all the way. I don't know. We'll see how it comes out on the tape. Dude, it sounds outstanding for okay. I'm sitting. I have Great. no doubt that if you like how it sounded, Bob's gonna do his thing. It's gonna sound wonderful. Yay! The thank you, Bob. Um, and the pink, did you choose that or did it just show up that way? The pink, um, I chose it. Basically, they were. I was looking at. I was looking on their, uh, you know, just in their gallery of stuff. I was talking with Matt from uh, from Mule, and he was showing me some. We were talking about doing a, a resonator, and it was like, well, what what color do you want? And there's the classic steel color, you know, which is amazing. But then I saw one of his pink ones, and I was like. Dude, I love the pink one. Can you can you spray paint it pink and then can you dirty it up and here we go. So it's pretty cool. Nice. Yes, yeah. I agree, man. It sounds great. Thanks. Um, you guys all sound great together. This is a total pleasure. This is exactly how I want to spend my Thursday afternoon. So thanks for Yay. coming and doing this. Um, there is a lot more music happening. You're gonna do two more off of Modern Johnny Sings. Uh, what's coming up second? Yeah, this one is called uh, Fog in the Mirror. And. Uh, I feel like it works pretty well for the minimal setting. So yeah. What do I need to plug this guitar in or something? Jeez. I used to own a T-shirt that said, you're ugly and your mother sent you to Ann Arbor. Uh, <laughs> it was something that my parents got me when I was like four, and I didn't know what it meant because wow. they both went to Michigan State and met in East Lansing and oh. married on campus there. So I was walking around as a four-year-old with this obnoxious shirt. <laughs> I love that your mother gave you a shirt that says, you're <laughs> ugly, and, you, <laughs> and your mother sent you here. <laughs> That's fun. There's fog in the mirror No reflection back from the glass I can't see the future Oh, 
away the past There's fog in the mirror Double vanity, single bath We could take a shower Wait for the water to rise up Our love would heat the pipes up you like it to be confused by a sad romantic looking for a muse I'm sorry to say that's the best that I can do In the mirror With my fingers I draw a map Of a different time zone Across an ocean On an island Where Irish eyes are smiling How would you like it To be confused By a sad romance Looking for a muse I'm sorry to say That's the best that I can do Let's open a window Shades up and flip the latch Just to let some steam out That's my best guess What a hot mess We were naked, now we're full dressed How would you like it To be confused by a sad romantic Trying to sing the blues I'm sorry to say that's the best that I can do Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We've got uh, a guitar geek question from Ian, the day trotter engineer. Um, hey, what's up, Ian? He wants to know how old uh, how old is that Fender? Okay, this Strat is uh, from probably the early 2000s, late 90s. I bought it at a guitar center in 2000, uh, probably in 2000. Yes. I'll take it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And uh, it's um, it's a 62 reissue Strat. And the reason you've never seen this finish is because I had to scrape the finish off. This is what was underneath. Pretty fun. Nice. Well, dude, but, it looks uh, great. It yeah, sounds great. I love this guitar. Um, can you tell me what who is... Modern Johnny, are you modern Johnny? That's a good is it question. A, a different character. Yeah, that's outside a good of question. Yourself? Yeah, you know, am I modern Johnny? We do share the same birthday, both from Long Island. It's kind of, uh, I guess it is kind of. There's some similarities there. No, modern Johnny is uh, is a little bit more of a feeling than than a character. I don't know if this is going to make any sense to anyone, but if you've ever read any uh, any Vonnegut books, you know, there's Kilgore Trout. Yeah. Um, there are these cats that show up in a Vonnegut novel that kind of show up in multiple novels and they're not uh, necessarily connected to one another, but it feels like um, an archetype 
of a kind of person, and I feel that modern Johnny is a is is a feeling I've had over the years that that really speaks to the journey or the plight or the um, yeah I guess the journey of the of the contemporary singer songwriter trying to sort of make it in uh, in today's music world, which is uh, vastly different than it was in the '70s, and um, I feel very grateful that we have the world we do music wise today because uh, I think you know the internet is. It's been amazing for uh, for so many of us with getting our music out there, um, but uh, yeah, the the modern Johnny thing is about sort of representative of everyone trying to trying to do their songs and almost like not sure how to how to keep up with the tsunami that is the web. Yeah, dude, it's a lot. But it's I a mean, lot. You're out there. You're doing it. Yeah, I we're doing enjoy it. Enjoy your music very Thank much. You. Thank um, you. Thank you. And best of luck with it i hope that it's that the comparison to uh to kilgore isn't too too close no no pretty, i know he's like, a, he's a bit of a dark and dude unsuccessful and, and and yeah like, yeah he, yeah unsuccessful no no i i yeah that's i guess what i mean is like uh it's more of a feeling than it is like ziggy stardust this isn't me i'm I, i'm still me it's not like i won't respond to theo if someone goes hey theo i'm not gonna be like excuse me because i'm wearing this hat i'm now modern johnny it's not like that um Though that is a cool thing, but that is uh, a cool hat as well, and it's a cool hat. Saint Juan Apparel, and you're all you. in front of a David Bowie tape right now, so all of the references are covered. And I love Bowie. I love Bowie. I just yeah, I don't know if that's making any sense. It's just that's a vibe Dude, thing. We're, yeah, we're right on topic. There was no digression. Okay, at all. and there's there's more music. You're gonna do one more. For yeah, let's do Johnny one more. Sings. Yeah, this one's called the Death of Us. <laughs> The 
Thank you, Paste. So much fun. Yeah, dude. Thank you guys for coming and doing this. It sounded great. Um, and travel safely. There's a lot of dates between now and March 15th. It wraps in Montreal. Yes. Uh, Brooklyn Steel tomorrow night. Royale in Boston on Saturday. Uh, Midwest into Canada. Yes. Enjoy Montreal. Thank you. Um, I will say Brooklyn is sold out, as is Royale. Um, so make sure you get your tickets for the rest of the tour because we would love to play for you. Nice, dude. That's a lot of tickets, man. Good for you. Thank you. Very, very grateful to uh, to to be playing for all y'all. Thanks so much for having us. Thank you, dude. Come back and visit us anytime it makes sense for you. You got it. Just make sure you cover that parking, baby, because you know it's like kind of like, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs>